everyone. I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. It is time for our Drills and Skills series here on the Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. It's the beginning of a new year and there's lots of opportunity for us to dig back in to a resolution to practice more often or to change our dancing for the better. Either way, that means we're doing a lot of time focusing on refining our dance. So for this first Drills and Skills, guide, we wanted to do rolling through our feet. Now, when we dance West Coast Swing, generally speaking, rolling through our feet is something that helps us with control, it helps us with measured movement, it helps us with timing, and it helps us with our partnership. But it's not something that necessarily comes naturally. When we first walk as a human being, we roll through our feet, but the second we get into a beginner class and start to dance, we find that we do a lot of funky things. So, we really need to Focus in on how to put the rolling of our feet, which is natural, into a somewhat unnatural feeling in dance. So this is how we do it with two of our drills. Yep. So my drill is really kind of like a warm-up to Desiree's drill. I wouldn't necessarily do this as my only practice of rolling through the feet, but what we're going to do is we're going to roll through our foot without transferring our weight. So I'm going to keep my weight on my right as I pick up and then roll through my left side. I can do this a few times on one side, switch to the other side, do the same thing, pick up and roll through. Thinking about really trying to open up my ankle at the top of this step and then roll through each part of the foot on the way down. Now, I say this is a warm up because there really aren't times in West Coast Swing that I'm ever going to be rolling through my foot without transferring my weight. There are times that I might transfer my weight without rolling through my feet. However, I want to make sure that I know and my body knows how to articulate through a full range of motion of the foot before I start putting weight transfer involved. So that's why it's a helpful warm up. What I like to do is really practice mindfulness in rolling through my feet. So I'm going to have a forward foot and a backward foot and I'm going to make sure that my forward foot has weight on it and then I'm going to release my toe and take that toe backward. Now is where I really, really dial into my dancing. I'm thinking of just the toe and I'm feeling that toe on the ground. Then I'm thinking of pressing in with the ball of my foot. Now I'm pretending that my arch of foot is like three feet long. I'm not thinking that it's the same size as my foot. I'm imagining I almost have clown feet and I'm trying to spread that arch all the way through. I'm then trying to kiss the heel of my foot down on the ground and that is where I feel that connection. The final piece to this mindfulness drill is I'm going to take my hip of my back foot over that heel, keeping my pitch slightly forward or stacked on top of me to release that next leg and foot. That's going to enable me to repeat the drill on the opposite side, making toe, ball, stretching through the arch, kissing the heel, and settling it down. Now walking forward, for me, what works best is taking a natural stride, not overstepping or understepping, but taking a natural stride and then trying to spend as much time with my hip weight over the ball of foot till I pass through my neck side. So doing that over and over again creates mindfulness and you can start to incorporate this. So if you're dancing, a pattern that's not necessarily a basic, you will begin to feel your feet on the ground and practice this in real time. Yep. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website and online store, link to the description. Bye.